Hello students, I am Sunil Kumar, PGD Commerce, Kendri Vidyalaya Sector 8, RK Puram. Let me welcome you to our another episode of Business Studies Class 12. Students, in our previous episode, we have discussed about the meaning of business environment, environmental scanning, SWOT analysis, that is strength, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. And I'm sure you have understood these concepts along with the internal environment. In this present episode, we are going to discuss about the dimensions of the business environment, which are also known as macro forces of business environment. These are the forces which are beyond the control of the business organization. The business organization has to take care of these five major forces available in external environment. The first one is economic environment. Economic environment comprises of fiscal and economical policies of the country. It comprises of per capita income, growth rate, production rate, profit rate, GDP, GNP, and all the factors which influence the economic environment. Economic environment is having a direct impact on the performance of a company. So it is must for a business organization to scan this economic environment very, very carefully, and the business has to go for it as quickly as possible. Some of the changes which has taken place in the economic environment are the reforms which are available in the field of banks. Before 1991, if the business organizations, if they are going to get loans from the banks, it was very, very difficult for them because they have to go for a lot of formalities. They have to go for a lot of things to do which were of no use. But in new industrial policy, all these hurdles were taken off. And now the business organizations can get the loans very easily and quickly from the banks. Another example of the economic reforms we can discuss here is the change in the economic and fiscal policies of the government. Now the government has invited all the people of the world to come in India, establish their business, do the business and earn the money, which was not available before 1991, as all were afraid what happened when East India Company came to India. Now we have to discuss about the social environment. First of all, the question arises, what is social environment? Social environment comprises of the rituals, the customs, the traditions of a particular country. It includes the educational status, preferences, taste of the people who are living in that country. And here, the social environment is not having direct impact on the operations of the business organization but the business has to take up it to the maximum level. Let me give you an example to understand the importance of social environment. One cola manufacturing company gave one slogan in its advertisement that was come alive. And one particular reason, the people of that reason, they were very apprehensive. They were taking out the meaning of come alive as come out of graves. And the people of that reason completely boycotted the product of that particular company. As a result, there was no demand of the product in that particular reason. As a result, the business organization, that particular company has identified that, that a particular segment of the country are not contributing by buying the products of the company. So they changed the slogan with some other, and now the company is able to generate demand in the market in that reason as well. So now we have understood by hurting the sentiments of the people, no company can survive in the market. Now let me go for our third major component of macro environment and that is political environment. Political environment comprises of the political parties which are in force, their ideologies, the character of the political leaders, the attitude of the political party towards the various sections of the society and in particular towards business and industry. The business and industry has to identify the importance of political environment as it is the most impressive and the direct environment which is going to affect the operations of a business organization. So business organization must scan the threats 
or the opportunities made available by the political environment and then the business has to capitalize on the opportunities and they have to cope up with the threats which are imposed by the political environment in front of them. Let me give you an example to understand that. Few days back, it was in news that Maharashtra government is going to ban the Gutka in that particular state. So it is a warning signal for the Gutka manufacturing companies because they know after some time there may be restrictions on their business. So they have to look for some other states to carry out manufacturing and their business in the field of Gutka. There is another example in the field of political environment. Back in 1977, when Janta Party was in force, it gave ultimatum to all the foreign companies to leave India as quickly as possible. And now, in the year 1991, when new industrial policy was announced, the doors of Indian economy was opened for all the institutional investors which are staying outside India that they can come back. And the companies which left India in 1977, they came back in the year 1991 and now successfully operating in India. Students, now our next force in the macro environment is legal environment. Legal environment comprises of all the rules and regulations which are enforced in a particular country. It includes all the legislations which are passed in the parliament and now in force in the country. A businessman has to comply with all the requirements of the government at the local level, state level and at the national level. The various legislation passed by the government in the field of business and industry are Consumer Protection Act 1986, which is the most important act which is applicable in India because we know the people who are living in India are most of them living in villages. They don't know what type of things they have to keep in their mind before buying the products in the market. Most of them are illiterate. So it is the responsibility of the government to pass such a legislation which will give strength, which will empower the people of the country that whatever they are going to buy, they are not going to harm in any way. If a businessman is found in selling the goods which are expired, then they will be penalized for the same. So here, the business environment has to scan its legal environment very, very carefully and then we'll see what part of it is applicable to his own business organization and he has to comply with all the rules and regulations blindly. Now, but last, but the most effective external force is technological environment. It comprises of the method of production taking place in a particular country. It comprises of buying of high-tech, new innovative machineries so that we'll be able to manufacture good quality of products. It will enable us to understand that the company won't be able to survive unless the company is giving quality products to the consumers and at fair prices. The company is not going to charge an extra amount of the same. For example, if the cost of a product is 100 rupees, then 20% profit is considered as fair. So business has to keep the price at 120 rupees. So in technological environment, the business has to take care of the type of technology the business organization is using. The business has to take care of that what competitors are using. Ultimately, after the manufacturing of the products, the company has to take care of the product that it must be sold in the market at any cost. And the company can do this only when the company is able to produce the goods which are of superior quality than of its competitors. So here, in this technological environment, business has to take care of the new technology goods, new technology-based machineries, so that the business will be able to cope up with the competition which is given by the competitors in the business environment. So now here, we have just come up to all the five major forces of the business environment, and now we are able to decide that what type of policies we have to adopt to cope up with the changes which are taking place in the five major forces of the macro environment. So students, in this episode, we have discussed in detail the macro forces which are available in the external business environment. And the business must take care of these. And if the organization is not taking care of these, then it must get ready to close their business and take exit from the market because they are no more available in the market. They are not coping up with the changes. 
So only those organizations which are living up to the expectations of the people, which are having the knowledge of the business environment up to the mark, only can survive in the market, and the rest will be thrown out of the market. So now you have understood, when you will be becoming the businessman in future, you must be taking care of all these major forces very, very carefully. And before deciding the policies, procedures, programs of your organization, you must take care of these forces very, very carefully. So I hope you have understood all these five major forces of macro environment and you are going to take care in the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.